Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you the trades posted on Wednesday 7th of September by our graduate students and global instructors. This is from Ren, our global instructor and programmer that programmed a robot that detects the alignment of the three macro, as you see 30 minute, six minute structural and one minute charts for faster scalping. So these are smaller time frames when you see the alignments. Uh, he comes and checks the algo 4 and 5 and enters as you see here potential entry after signal came at this point was here with the three targets filled thanks Ren for sharing this this is a trade by Yasin who is going to send the video separately with explanation anyway he sees in the micro 30 minute chart a breakout that you can see it in a structural chart up there and as a channel here, seven minute, uh, this channel is can be traded on a scalp using entry chart, which is here one minute. So he draws a channel based on algo one, two, three, four, five, and entry signals enters here with proper stop loss. After completion of pullback, reach the target in here, which is the middle of channel, and that's exit strategy one. Thanks to Yasin for sharing your trades and video with us. Uh, the next series of trades are from Yan, or Global Instructors, trading Micro Nasdaq. He's at the opening of the New York time and uh, trading live, looking for opportunity and explaining to his students. And that's a 30 minute macro chart that he sees kind of wedgy uptrend. There's a pullback here on one minute charts that is completing the uptrends. So let me fast forward his video. Okay, to one position short here. And I just go again fast forward. So if this position was filled, I'm just gonna go fast forward because this is a long video. So he sees the pullback. He's looking for short pullback now. When the pullback got completed, he entered one position here that stopped out. Now it looks like in one minute the buyers came back. The tick and is above zero retesting. So just entered one position here uh, with risk to reward close to one. Fill this target. Okay, I see that was the trade. I'm just going fast forward. He took another position here, entered here, and looking for the buyers to come back, then came and filled this position. This target filled another entry. The price is reaching almost middle of channel. He's hoping that the buyers come back here and bring the price to this level and reach the target. Let's see what happens. He's explaining to a student in a live market. So I'm just gonna fast forward. Looks like this is filled now. Momentum is not so strong now. Okay, so the momentum is in downtrend now with this candle. Uh, it's gonna and tick NYC shows divergence, so it's gonna go short. I think. Yeah, it's gonna draw the channel and go short. Okay, he's filled sell position here, I think, and it stopped out. So let's see the next trade. Uh, the volatility is high now. The volatility is very bad in this area, as you see, with a lot of shadows. That's the reason he stopped out. Looking for another sell entry because the sellers couldn't came back again, looks like. 
Okay, this target is filled. I just went too fast. Okay. So it looked like sellers are coming back and bringing this channel down. So he has to only go one way looking for pullback. And scalping quickly all this. Okay, another profit here. Very too much pullback now, but it's again a around zero here. Wow, such a big candle. If this comes back he let me replay again. Okay, good. Wow, oh, this is highly volatile now. Mm, not good. This is a wide range now. And very unpredictable, so I'm not sure. Yeah, he's not continuing that because volatility is too much now. See, this range is very clean. This is very volatile. It was going to have a good trend, but it went up and down. So. Okay, so thanks Ian for sharing your trades. These are my trades close to the end of market. The market was showing the wide range and then I didn't trade in this area. So let me go fast forward. So here I see the this wide uh, range retested this support and it's going up. So I took long position here. Uh, first one position you then go I close it immediately if I see buyers coming back I enter again aggressively with more position now it's good adding more position three three positions filled and tick NYC is up the ATM is closing the trade So let me fast forward another pullback and entry one position one more limit I exit because I saw divergence here and the pullback was deep so that was okay adding more position here to this area of pullback and reaching all these targets automatically and let me see okay another pullback I took here just one position because now we are close to the support resistance area and it's you have to be more cautious so let me see if the, so because it went up there close to the end of market volatility increase only 12 minutes left and this this is a big dip and divergence is coming so one more looks like position on very top and this is tricky okay quickly close it now so it went up and ATM automatically closed at break even. The price fall rapidly, and I think I didn't trade anymore. Volatility now, as you see, is very large, wide compared to this channel, which was very clean. And this is a no trade area for us because of volatility expansion. You can see the shape of candles here, and this is not tradable. So we apply volatility filter and news filter first. And that's a pre-market check and during market. That was the end of my trade at 350. Thanks everyone for your attention. Hope these trades are useful for you. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.